So with that, let's get started. All right. So let's take a nice big breath in. And exhale, bowing down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soften, and up. Hands to heart, hands to side, and reach. Bowing down, nice crease at the top of the hips. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soften, and up. Exhale, hands to heart, and hands to side one more, and reach. Bowing down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soften, and up. Hands to heart, hands to side, hold vinyasa, reach. Bow. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to the ground, jump, step, or float the feet back into plank and coming down. Elbows tucked into chaturanga, scooping up into upward facing dog and stretching back into downward facing dog and walk through the feet. Coming up onto the balls of the feet, bending one, coming back up, bending into another. Feeling that lengthening through the hands. Really breathing. You may want to sit into the hips a bit as we walk through the feet. And softening both knees. Looking past your hands. Jump step or float the feet forward. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down, soft the knees, coming all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart and hands to side and reaching up. Exhale, bowing down. Inhaling for that nice halfway lift. Exhale, hands onto the ground, jump step or float feet back into plank and coming down through chaturanga. Scooping heart up into upward facing dog, tuck your toes, stretching back into downward dog and walk through the feet again. When you're ready, picking up, left foot, flex your foot and big circles. And reverse other way. Reach it back, nice big breath in on the exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, knee to forehead. Reach it back. Exhale, knee to forehead. Reach it back one more. And reach, stepping foot in between hands, bringing back knee down, coming into a crescent lunge. Really breathe and soften, taking those deep breaths in and deep breath out. Slowly bringing hands back to the ground, straighten front leg, flexing foot as we breathe. And soften. And transfer it back, flexing the foot. And soften, planting hands, scooping it back, reaching leg back again. Soften left knee, stacking left hip over right and breathe through that side body. Taking nice deep breaths in. And deep breath out. Coming back to center, unstack. Coming back up to high plank. Down through chaturanga. Scooping up into upward facing dog. Tuck the toes. 
stretching back into downward dog and walking through the feet. Taking those big breaths in. And big breath out as we breathe. Nice deep breaths in. And deep breath out. Really feeling yourself lengthen and strengthen. Couple more. Two more big breaths. And when you're ready, picking up the opposite foot, flex the foot and circle. Nice big circles. And reverse opposite way. Reach it back. Big breath in on the exhale, curl. Inhaling, extend back. And exhale, curl. And reach. One more. And reach, stepping foot between in hands, coming all the way up and reach. Taking those big breaths in. And big breath out, hands down, flex as we lengthen that front leg. And soften into that stretch again. Knee over ankle, getting a nice stretch and gently rocking back and forth. Taking big breaths in and big breath out. And one more. When you're ready, Stepping foot back, coming back to downward dog, picking up that right leg, soften the knee, stacking right hip on top of left hip as we breathe. Taking deep breaths in. And deep breath out. One more big breath on the exhale, unstack both feet on the ground, soften your knees, looking past your hands, jump step or float the feet forward, inhaling for a halfway lift, soften and come all the way up, exhale bringing hands to heart, hands to side reaching up, exhale as we bow down, inhaling for that halfway lift. Exhale, bringing hands onto the ground, jump step or float feet back into plank. We are going to come into a side plank. So right hand or right shoulder underneath and stack. Taking up that top foot, that left foot if you'd like as we breathe. Taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. One more big breath when you're ready, change. Other side, finding that stack. One more big breath on the exhale, coming back to center hands underneath shoulders and coming down. Chaturanga. Scooping heart up into upward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Stretching back into downward facing dog. Picking up left foot again. On your exhale, taking left knee to chest. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, reach back one more. Reach it back. Left knee, left upper arm. Here we go. Reach. And if that arm balance is in your practice and you'd like to come into it, please do. One more. 
This time taking that, crossing it all the way over. And reach, reach. One more. And this time coming back into crescent lunge again, stepping foot through, back knee comes down. And when you're ready, this time reaching arms up. Palms together, leaning forward, coming into a twist. If that feels in your practice. Really breathe. One more big breath on the exhale, bringing it down. Tucking toes, reaching back, and eight kicks, left leg, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reaching it up towards your forehead, reach back, exhale, reach back, exhale, reach back, left arm and up, reach back, and up, reach back, one more, reach back and twist, right arm, reach, you got it, reach, Inhale back, last one. And stepping foot through. And breathe, arms up. This time taking hands interlaced behind back, chest comes forward as we breathe. Taking nice deep breaths in. And deep breath out. One more big breath on the exhale, unwrap, coming back into downward facing dog. Eight more kicks with the left leg. If you'd like to do add some hops, or you're prepping, actually stacking up, please do, feeling your hips trying to reach over your shoulders. So when you're ready, option one, supporting leg fades on the ground. Option two, reach up. Two, we're doing eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Coming back up to high plank, down through chaturanga. Scoop it up, stretch it back. Coming forward, down through chaturanga. Inhale, chest up, tuck, reach back, last one, down. Reach and tuck up. Left leg come or right leg comes up. Knee to chest and reach. Knee to chest and reach one more. This time, right knee comes to right upper arm and reach. Belly button in, really hollowing your belly. One more. Bringing it into that twist. Here we go. Twist and reach and twist. Just being very careful with your furniture. And one more and your limbs. Stepping foot in between. Crescent lunge on opposite side. Reach arms. Hands come together coming into that twist. If it feels okay to take your back knee off the ground, please do. Two more big breaths. Last one, slowly unwrap. Coming back, 
to downward facing dog, picking up that right leg when you're ready. Eight kicks. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. Seven. Making sure you're pulling up through the pelvic floor. Five, six, seven, and eight. Knee comes to chest. We reach it back. Knee and forehead curl. Reach. One more. Right arm, here we go. Reach. And back. If arm balance is in your practice, feel free. Last one. And twist to the left. Reach. 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 Stepping foot in between. And very carefully. Gently rock, flexing foot back, soften. Two more. Last one. Finding that foundation, reaching all the way up, coming into the twist second time. And breathe. Two more big breaths. On the exhale, slowly on wrap, tucking toes, coming back into downward facing dog, picking up right leg if it feels okay to add those hops, otherwise eight kicks. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and up. Two, three. Really feel the engagement of the shoulders. Four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Soften your knees, looking past your hands. Jump, step, or float feet forward. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down. Soften your knees. Coming all the way up. And breathe. Coming into chair when you're ready. So both knees. Soften, reach. Taking big breaths in and big breath out. Knees are over toes. If you look down, you should be able to see all 10 toes. Two more big breaths. Last one, exhale, bowing down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down. Soften knees, come up. Hands to heart, hands to side, and reach. This time, rooting into your left foot, picking up right, and hold for eight, seven, six. Really reach your seat back, pulling up through pelvic floor. Three, Two, and reset. Transfer without moving too much, reaching other leg. Here we go. Seeing if you can reach your seat just a little bit further back as we breathe. Taking those big breaths in. And big breath out. One more big breath when you're ready. Both feet down. Bow it down. Inhaling for a halfway lift. Exhale, relaxing down. Soften, come all the way up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart and hands to side. This time, feet together. Soften. And coming into a twist, taking your hands, left elbow over to right side. Coming into the twist, if that side curl balance is in your practice and you'd like to come into it, please do. Taking nice deep breaths in. 
and deep breath out. See if you can lengthen your spine, opening up the chest just a bit more. One more big breath on the exhale, relaxing down. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, bringing hands onto the ground. Jump step or float back into plank. Second time coming into a side plank. So right hand underneath shoulder. You can always, if you need to, you are always welcome to have elbow. I'm very careful, top arm comes down. Extend. Reach. And down, reach, down, reach, reach, four more, three, two, and changing sides, here we go, find that foundation first, and when you're ready, reaching up, bringing it down, and up, down, reach, down, reach, down. Five, six, seven, and eight, both hands down, coming down through Chaturanga. Inhale, scooping the heart up into upward facing dog, then tucking back into downward facing dog. And picking up that left foot when you are ready, reaching it up. And very carefully bending knee, stacking hip. And if it feels okay, to keep reaching those toes all the way over, coming all the way over, in either a full bridge or a half wheel. One more big breath on the exhale slowly, coming back, picking up right foot this time, bending knee, stacking hip and reach. Taking those big breaths in and big breath out. If it feels okay to come all the way over, please do. For those of you who can come into a full wheel, please do. If you feel warm enough. One more big breath on the exhale, slowly unstack. Reaching it up, right foot, step it through, coming all the way up into a warrior one. Reach. So back toes are ever so slightly turned out if you'd like, pulling up through pelvic floor, softening into front knee, breathing. Really getting a nice crease at the top of the hip. Shoulders back. One more big breath, circle your wrists, taking it back, shoulders back, straighten front knee, square the hips, reaching hips back as we bow. Really lengthening your spine. One more big breath, slowly. Coming back up and soften. Reach, hips are still square. Three. Two more big breaths. Last one. Reach it back. This time your less dominant grip, shoulders back. Straighten, square the hips, and bow.
and one more big breath slowly coming back up open up the back foot coming into warrior two pulling up through pelvic floor taking your arms like a bow and arrow and breathe five breaths And when you're ready, turning palm up, inhale as we come up to the belt, five breaths. Really lengthen the front plane of your torso. One more, start to straighten front knee, reach that left hip back. Extend coming into triangle stacking top shoulder over bottom shoulder belly button in and breathe. One more big breath on the exhale coming back to warrior two just for a moment. And we're going to flow. Inhale, reaching up in exalted warrior. Exhale, reaching away into triangles and straighten that front knee and soften. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Belly button in. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath. Reach. Two more. One more. And windmill all the way down. When you're ready, we are going to pick up our back foot and coming into standing split. So feeling your chest reaching towards your shin as you breathe. And when you're ready, eight kicks. Once you bring your hands down, finding that foundation, and reach. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bending both knees, bringing that leg in. Extend back. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Eight kicks again, option one. Supporting leg stays on the ground. Option two, kicking it up. Up. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and very carefully coming back, walking feet in downward dog, bending into one knee and bending into another. Really breathe. When you're ready, coming back up to high plank, down through chaturanga, scooping heart up into upward facing dog, Tucking back into downward dog, coming back up, high plank, down through chaturanga, scooping heart up, upward facing dog, exhale, downward dog. This time picking up right foot, stepping it in between, coming all the way back up into that warrior one as we breathe, reach. And actually, I know for me, I've got the wrong foot. So I'm just going to switch that. So just checking your body. And breathe. Feeling front hip pulling back, back hip pulling forward. Two more big breaths. Straightening front knee. 
taking hands back, interlace shoulders, squeeze, bow. And slowly coming back up, soften, reaching up, taking big breaths in and big breath out. Couple more big breaths. Really breathe. Last one, straightening both legs, hips square. Taking hands back, less dominant grip. And bow, really breathe. Taking those big breaths in. And deep breaths out. And slowly coming all the way up. Soften into front knee and reach. We're gonna open it up, coming into that warrior two. So your back toes and pelvis are reaching. Really breathe, belly button in. And exulting warrior, lifting chest, reaching up to the sky. If you want, adding a smile as well. They have done studies where it is supposed to actually make us feel happy in a good mood, which I'm curious, so I'm willing to test that theory. Two more big breaths, slowly coming back to center and reach. And holding for five deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And one more big breath, slowly coming back and inhale as we soften and exalted. Exhale, in triangle. And inhale, reaching up, nice big breath in. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. One more. When you're ready, this time coming all the way down, we are going to come into standing split. So transfer picking up that back foot. And when you're ready, reaching it back, feeling your chest dropping towards your shin. If you are able to take your hands off the ground and wrap around your shin, please do. One more big breath. And exhale. When you're ready, eight kicks. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Reach back, bending both knees. Extend. And bend. Extend. Bend. Extend one more. Four and more. I know I mixed it up. Reach. Three. Two. And one. And if it feels okay, bringing hands to the ground. Eight more kicks. If it feels okay. To kick up, taking supporting leg off the ground, please do. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very carefully, 
coming all the way back up to high plank. Down through chaturanga. Scooping up into upward facing dog. Stretching back into downward dog and relax. Into child's pose and breathe. For five deep breaths in and five deep breaths out. Really breathing. Taking those big breaths in and big breaths out whenever you're ready. Really breathe. And when you're ready, using your hands to guide you, slowly coming back up to a tall seat. Very carefully, just to give your wrists a bit of a break, we are going to come into Masala. So very gently soften your knees. Heels come down. Hands together and breathe. Taking these deep breaths in. And deep breath out. Really lengthen your spine. I'm sorry about all the noise, everybody. Uh, looks like my neighbors decided to get somebody in to cut the trees in the neighborhood or the city did, so it's just been very loud, so I apologize. Really breathing into your hips. When you're ready, bringing hands to the ground, straighten the legs, coming into a wide leg forward fold. If you want to shift your hips from side to side, please do. If headstand is in anybody's practice and that is something you want to come into and you feel warm enough to, feel free on your next rotation to allow yourself to come into it instead of coming back into Masala. If that is safe and you're able to practice safely and you've done it before without a spot. Very carefully, heels come in. Dropping seat down and breathe. Taking these deep breaths in and deep breath out. For anybody who is in headstand, if you want to stay longer because we're going to do one more rotation, please do. Otherwise, if you'd like, we are going to come all the way up, straightening the legs, coming into that wide leg forward fold. One more big breath. When you're ready, heels in. Soften. Shoulders back. And breathe. If crow is in anybody's practice and you would like to come into it, feel free to. Or we are coming back up into a wide leg forward fold. If you're not sure what crow is, and again, this is one that, again, would be preferable if you had somebody spotting you. But otherwise, when you're ready, those knees are pretty much going to come right to the backs of the arms. And when our hands are in prayer, and then bringing them down to the ground, they're pretty much in place already. Shoulders back, so the shoulders engaged. Chest. Just take one off, and then switch, take the other one and just taking one foot off at a time. Really breathe, especially if it's been a while and you haven't done it, because I know for me it's been a while too. So really breathing, nice deep breaths in. And deep breath out. Last one, when you are ready, 
we are going to come all the way up into dolphin. So straightening the legs. I usually keep my feet a little closer together for me. And when you're ready, if you're able to, option one is always downward dog. You'll notice that hands and feet are a little bit closer together. We are going to bring our forearms onto the ground. So you may need to come all the way down. Elbows down, shoulders back. Tuck the toes, press into your hands, and very carefully coming up. So option one is here. Option two, taking left foot and kicking. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, wine changing, other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing down, hips back, coming into child's pose. Let the arms just come by your side. You've been using them a lot today. Really breathe. And very carefully, slowly, coming all the way up. We are going to find our way down onto our back. So very gently, coming all the way down, hugging knees into chest, and gently rocking side to side, forward and back. Just releasing your low back, releasing your glutes as we breathe. Taking big breaths in and big breath out. And reverse the other way. And reaching both legs up to the sky. Opening arms out to the sides if it feels okay, reaching to one side. And you may have furniture that gets in the way. Keeping both shoulders on the ground. It's okay if feet don't touch. Keeping belly button in, pelvic floor pulled up. Coming back to center and release. Knees to the ceiling, feet hip distance apart, and knees from side to side. And very carefully taken. Right knee cross over left, left foot's on the ground. To start, just gently bring them a little closer to the chest and very gently taking knees over to the left side. Belly button in. One more big breath. On the exhale, coming back to center, release. Taking other leg across, open arm, turning head to the side. As our knees melt over towards that right side. Breathing into that twist. One more big breath on the exhale, slowly coming back to center and reaching arms, reaching legs up to the sky. We are going to soften our knees, keeping tailbone on the ground, grabbing thighs, calves, or toes into what we call happy baby, breathing into your hips and rocking from side to side.
And coming back to center, release. Reaching arms, reaching legs away from the torso to yawn. And stretch, feeling fresh, cool air coming in. Warm air coming out. And whenever you're ready, feeling your arms starting to relax, shoulders, hands, neck and head, hands and feet, legs, torso, glutes. If it feels okay to soften your eyes, as we find ourselves into our final resting pose, into Shavasana, please, please, please do. Feeling free to put on any music you'd like to hear. Just something mellow and chill. Please do. Really breathing. Taking those big breaths in. And big breath out. Imagining any tension literally melting out of your body into the floor. Where it can be recycled as we continue to breathe in and letting go of whatever no longer serves us as we breathe out.
and feeling yourself, taking a nice deep breath in and exhale. Starting to feel movement, returning to fingers, to toes, to hands and feet. If you'd like to reach your arms above your head to yawn and stretch, please do. Feeling fresh, cool air coming in, warm air coming out. And softening the knees and very carefully rolling to one side, using your hands to guide you, slowly finding your way back up to a tall seat. And taking a nice big breath in. And exhale, bowing to thank yourself. And I thank you too. Namaste, everyone.